Okay, first of all, active tracking on this thing is incredible. It's really hard to lose active tracking. Anyway, what we're here to test out today is the number one thing you look for when you're checking out a gimbal, and that's stabilization. That's why we buy a gimbal. Yes, you can have all these fun features on it, like the Osmo Mobile 3 is, but I wanna know how good does it stabilize? So that's what we're gonna check out today, as well as some other things. Okay, for the first test for stabilization with the Osmo Mobile 3, we're gonna go ahead and go down and then up the stairs. Now the stairs test is a good indication of a gimbal's performance because it's really hard to maintain that z-axis that up and down so we're going to see how the mobile 3 does here so far it looks pretty good just looking at my screen definitely one of the best performers that i've tested on these stairs all right not bad let's move on to something a little more challenging all right so the next thing that we're going to check out is running now, am I a runner? No, I'll run if there's a bear chasing me or something like that. I used to be a runner, but not anymore. And are you ever gonna run while carrying an Osmo Mobile 3? Maybe if a bear is chasing you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check it out. So here I am, just running. I'm running. How's it look? So let's go ahead and turn around. We'll turn the camera around. And now we'll try running this way. Like I said, are you ever gonna run with this thing? No, but it's nice to know it can stabilize in extreme situations like that. So I got one more test, and this is gonna be the true test. Just for comparison's sake, this is the Pixel 3 XL handheld with video stabilization turned on. God, oh, these poor people that live out here. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold it tighter. <laughs> All right, that's enough, I'm turning around. Okay, we are headed down Dump Road. <laughs> this will be the ultimate test. Not bad, not bad. Here come the washboards. <laughs> it is so bad. I don't know how people live out here. Incredibly stable, right? I challenged this thing as much as I could and it performed so well. So today what I'd like to do is give you my thoughts on the Osmo Mobile 3. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I'll tell you six reasons that you will not regret investing in this nearly perfect smartphone gimbal. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. This is 51 Drones. My name is Russ. On this channel, you're gonna find a lot of content mostly related to high quality camera drones, things like tutorials, reviews, comparisons, and things like that. And I also do some tech related product reviews. So if any of that sounds interesting or you enjoy any of my content, click on that subscribe button today. Now you may have to watch this part over again because I'm gonna go through these really quickly, but there are so many cool things about the Osmo Mobile 3. The compact size, improved stabilization, one-click active track, sport mode, FPV mode, improved thumbstick, motion time-lapse, the hyperlapse, the story mode, gesture mode, slow motion, 15-hour runtime, phone charging, panorama, the trigger button, easy portrait mode, and so much more. This could be a 30-minute video, but instead, I'll just cover what I think are the six reasons that you might really enjoy this gimbal. Now, we all want the nicest stuff, but there are sacrifices to be made for that stuff sometimes. For instance, I'd like to find a way that's more exciting to spend my winters than shoveling snow. No, don't get me wrong, shoveling wet snow is one of my favorite things. <laughs> but if I want something, usually I have to give up something. It's all about balance. Now, I wanted a professional level camera gimbal for so long. I wanted to create that amazing smooth video that I watch every day. So I got one, but what I realized after getting it and using it is that I really don't need it. 
and more than likely none of you do either. It's overkill. Camera gimbals now are getting so much more small by the month because the technology is getting better. And the most capable gimbal that you won't ever have regrets about buying is a smartphone gimbal. The Osmo Mobile 3 is the newest release by DJI that provides the best opportunity for anyone at any skill level to create amazing videos. Now I had the Osmo Mobile 2 and I used it for one summer. There you go. Just like that. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt. And it's sat on the shelf ever since. It's right up here. Let me show it to you. So I did like it when I first got it. I actually um, took it on vacation with us and I got some pretty good smooth footage. Um, this is the Osmo Mobile 2. And the thing that I don't like about it, it's clunky. This right here, I. I mean, I, I just, I can't stand it. It just flops around so much. And so yes, you can put it in the case that it comes with this nice styrofoam case. And so that's the biggest reason I quit using it, the form factor. It did the job, but I just never wanted to take it anywhere. Now I'm beginning to understand why minimalism is becoming so popular. So that's the first reason you will not regret getting the Osmo Mobile 3. The foldable compact design allows you to take it anywhere. I mean. Look at the difference between these two. It's about twice as long, and this is way more compact. So you have your phone with you everywhere, and now you can have your gimbal with you as well. Now next, time lapses. Time lapses are cool, right? Watching a sunrise or a sunset or a storm moving in or something like that is really fun to watch, but it's way more interesting to view some of those things as time passes quickly. Now most phones can do time lapses, but none will ever be able to do a motion time lapse. And that's where you choose certain points for the gimbal to move to, all the while recording the time lapse. And it's so easy to do on the Osmo Mobile 3 along with the DJI Mimo app. All you need to do is choose time lapse, click here on the little squiggle, select your beginning point and your end point, and hit record. It's so slick and it adds tremendous interest to any production. Before, if you wanted a motion time lapse, you had to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a slider. No more is that the case. Now, the third reason that you won't regret the Osmo Mobile 3 is story mode. So editing is kind of a pain, right? For most people, it's pretty intimidating. Well, with story mode, anyone can create a fun sequence of clips that makes a little story that you can share on social media. And the Osmo Mobile 3 does all of the work for you. Okay, so we're gonna do the story mode and you're gonna pick the stories, you're gonna pick the shots. So you're gonna tell me what you want me to do, okay? okay. So we're gonna hit this story mode button and let's try, I think for this type of thing, party maybe, sports. How about brisk, we'll try brisk. So we'll hit start. Okay, so you're gonna do five shots. One, two, three, four, Wait, six shots. So the first one's two seconds, three and a half seconds, 3.8, 3.7, 3.6, and 3.4. So let's get some shots. Um, you know how to do it, right? You hit the record button. Yeah. And then get your shots. So what should we do first? Let's just do a picture of the four-wheeler. Okay, so go ahead. Take it and get a shot of the four-wheeler. Oh, we gotta turn that around. Yeah, we wanna flip the camera around. There we go. And then maybe the front here or something? Okay. All right. Does that look okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty fun, right? He loved making that. Next, and probably the most impressive thing about the Osmo Mobile 3 is the stabilization is epic. I did my very best to challenge it in rough conditions and the footage came out, are you ready for it? Buttery smooth. What is our fascination with butter anyway? <laughs>
The thing is, it's not too smooth, like sometimes electronic stabilization can be. I'm a big fan of electronic stabilization, and I do think it's the future, but we still have a ways to go. The footage from my Pixel 3 XL on the Osmo Mobile 3 is exactly the type of look that I'm striving for to put into my videos. Now, I'm probably not gonna make an entire video using the Osmo Mobile 3 and my smartphone, or maybe I should. That actually might be a good idea, but I absolutely will be using it for B-roll in my videos because we all know buttery B-roll is the goal. The fifth thing that I think is so impressive is the battery life. It's unbelievable at 15 hours. I've used this thing for two weeks now and I've even had my phone hooked up to it and it charges your phone while you're using it and I still have yet to charge it. I really don't think that gets enough attention but I think that is incredibly convenient. And lastly, the thing that DJI continues to improve so much is ActiveTrack 3.0. DJI has fine-tuned their software to the point that it's almost unbelievable how well the Osmo Mobile 3 can track you. Even if it loses the subject for a bit, it can still pick it up again. So when you want the viewer's attention on something, just drag your finger across it, it makes a little square, and you can rest assured that your subject will always be in the frame. No longer do you have to worry about obstacles ruining your footage. Now there is one single thing that can be frustrating about the Osmo Mobile 3, at least it frustrates me, and it's that it can't stand up on its own. Now that doesn't sound like a big deal, but if you don't have a tripod handy, then it can be a big deal. I do like the new ergonomic handle, but it does come at a cost, which is the inability to stand up independently. Now this means that you either need to purchase the combo kit that it comes with for an extra $20, which is actually a pretty good investment because you get this nice little carrying case along with the tripod. But if you don't get that, you have to have your own tripod and you have to have it with you at all times. Because if it's not standing up on a level surface before you start it, you can't balance your phone on it. But other than that, I am quite impressed with the improvements that DJI has made on the Osmo Mobile 3. Now, if you're thinking about getting one, if you've been considering it, I'll have a link down in the description if you wanna learn more about it and to purchase it. Click on the thumbs up button if you got anything of value out of this video today. Comment any questions that you have. Maybe I did include something that you'd like to know about the Osmo Mobile 3. Put those down in the comments and I'll answer them as best I can. I wanna thank you so much for watching today. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.